Every day when you're walking down the street Everybody that you meet Has an original point of view And I say How has Arthur changed over the years since you started doing That's an excellent question Well, first of all, I never thought he would be on television And for me it was a lesson in sharing Because I was doing these books, writing and illustrating all by myself and they would go out into the world and then PBS said, we want to make a TV show. And I said, I don't think so. Because <laughs> I'd said that to other people. We had two other offers for Arthur to be on TV, but uh, I had to give up total control. And I mean, they could put like a gun in his backpack or something and I didn't want that. But PBS had a really good idea. They wanted kids to read when they watched the show. And it really started to happen. Kids were reading a lot more and a lot more Arthur books, that's for sure. But I think how has he changed? Um, he became uh, more real. I had to draw a map of his whole city, Elwood City, and where he lived, where Buster lived, Francine lived. You know, what kind of families did they have? His world grew exponentially when he became a, a television star. and. That was very interesting, to have the luxury of having him do things I couldn't do in picture books, like head lice. No publishers would do books on head lice for kids, but it's something, you know, that we had at our family, and other families have it, and Muffy had it too. Remember that episode where you start and you see a jungle and these little bugs, and then the camera pans back and you see that you're on Muffy's head? And she's horrified that she has head lice or Buster, he has asthma. We got to go inside his lungs and see what it's like for kids to have asthma. So I'm really, I didn't think I'd like TV as much as I, I did because I had a very bad television experience. Um, I had a lot of jobs before I started doing this, but I got fired a lot. Yeah. One of them was television. And I was there for like a week and I was the art director at WICU TV. And they said, make more people watch the weather report. It was putting people to sleep. Shirley Ramsey, she would change her clothes every night and that was supposed to be the fun part of the show. Well, it wasn't. And so I, I really thought about this and I thought I had a great idea. I did a lot of drawings and I took them into my boss, Mr. Johnson. And I put all the drawings on his desk. He said, what's the ladder for? I said, that's so Shirley can get up to the swing. He said, the swing? I said, yeah. She gets up on the swing and the show opens and she swings down and she lands in front of a big wishing well. And she tiptoes over and then you can't see, but I would be in the wishing well and you'd just hear my voice saying, well, today, Shirley, it's snowing. You better get out your earmuffs and your galoshes. And that's when my boss stopped asking me questions. And I just kept talking and telling him about the magic squirrel that handed her the magic markers. And I don't know, it was an awkward time. And the next morning I went to work and there was a little pink slip of paper in my mailbox that said I was entitled to a free Christmas ham. But by the way, you no longer had a job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, that was just one of my unfortunate job experiences.